12, 2012. We are reporting live from Ciudad Juarez. Today we have new president Enrique Peña Nieto live in the studio. Okay. His recent action in the drug war has led to some controversy. He has tried to crack down on corruption and infrastructure with police forces that may have been working with drug cartels. We hope to learn about his plans for the future against drug-related violence in Mexico. And now we go to the couch with Monica with the president talking about the drug war. Thanks, Isabel. And now we're here to interview Enrique Peña Nieto. Okay, Enrique, uh, what are your feelings about the drug problems in Mexico? Um, I definitely feel like that it is wrong and it is plaguing Mexico, and I want to clean out the corruption in Mexico law enforcement. Oh, so you, f so you feel like police officers may be involved with such drug cartels? Yes, they're definitely um, involved with the drug war and somehow, and I think that needs to end. Okay, so what are your goals on ending the war on drugs and the associated violence? Um, do they match your feelings? Yeah, I feel like it goes back to the corrupt law enforcers, and I want to move troops into the Mexican cities to enforce those laws that were previously ignored by the corrupt law enforcers, and I feel like that could help a lot. So, uh, will these troops act as uh, law enforcers? Um, they're kind of like helping the law enforcers that are already there to improve what they're doing. And so they're not really law enforcers, they're just like, improving. Okay. So how has this situation affected daily life of Mexican citizens? Um, it's definitely brought a strong sense of fear and tension on the streets throughout Mexico. And I want people to feel safe because um, they never know when they could be shot by random street violence and the death tolls have been increasing and I want to bring this to a stop. So have you noticed that um, media attention has been brought to its effects on the U.S.? Yes, it's definitely um, fueling a lot of the drug war um, the U.S. is because the citizens of the U.S. are buying the drugs produced in Mexico and so they're just um, making the drug more and more prominent in Mexico. All right, thank you Enrique. Yes, yeah, it's been a great you. interview. You too. Thank you, Monica, and thanks for tuning in to Channel Cinco. See you tomorrow.